Hey, what's up YouTubers and welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts update video. Today I received a package in the mail from a fellow friend and YouTuber and this is a holy grail piece to my collection. It is a piece that I was missing to complete a collection. So I'm going to go through and show you guys what I got in this package, who I got it from, and I will link his channel down below so you can check him out. And I do recommend that you check out his channel. He's another horror head and he has a great collection. He does frequent updates. Uh, he does a lot of out of print collection videos and pickup videos. He does a lot of horror, rare, obscure stuff. And I really enjoy his channel. He contacted me about a week or so ago and he asked me if I had this piece yet because I had made a video about this probably two or three years ago that I have been missing this piece and I hadn't found it yet I haven't really been looking for it but it is kind of a rare piece and he asked me if I had it I told him no he told me he picked one up and he wanted to send it to me I wanted to send him something in return but he wouldn't have it he wanted to get this to me to add to my collection so I can complete this collection so of course I will definitely be returning the favor and sending him something in return. I just don't know what yet. So let's take a look and see what and who sent me this package. He packaged it very nicely and there's a lot of bubble wrap and there was actually some more bubble wrap on top that I got rid of already just to make the video a little bit smoother. He also included a note and this is where you're going to find out who sent this to me. Let's read this along together here. It says, Hi Todd, here's the item I told you about. This will complete your Evil Dead collection. It took me over two years to collect all five. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did to pick it up for you. The horror man was right when he said the letter D edition is the rarest one to find. Thank you for being a very good friend, your good friend, Chili Billy. Now, some of you guys are already sub to Chili Billy. He is a great guy. I'm not just saying that because he sent me a movie, but I really do enjoy his update videos and watching his collection overviews and some of the out of print and rare stuff that he has in his collection. It always gives me some ideas of what I can pick up for my collection. So now you know the jig is up. You know that he sent me an item for my Evil Dead collection. And these are the jewel cases that came out in 1999. So 20 years ago now these came out. And these were limited, but I don't know what they were limited to. But I remember first seeing these at Sam's Club back in 1999. And I picked up three of them right away. They had three of the five at Sam's Club. And over the years, I did pick up a few more. I did sell some and traded some. But I was never able to find letter D, and I'll get into that in a second. But each of these had a different cover. This is the one that Billy sent to me. And thank you very much, Chili Billy. You're, you're a great guy. I really do appreciate this. And like I said, I will be sending you something in return. But these are the jewel cases. In Germany, they call these glass boxes. But um, basically, it doesn't have any interior artwork. It just has the, you know, the plain plastic clear see-through case and it has five different images from the film and this is the letter D. Uh, when these first came out if you look on the spine here you can see that it has DV 10667 slash D. This is the D edition. People thought that they were going to spell out Evil Dead and have you know eight different um, editions. But what it does spell out is devil, not evil D. So this is the D. This is one that was elusive to me in my collection. Very glad to have this now. And I feel very good to, it, it always feels good to complete a collection. Here are the four I had before. This is E. And that's the image that they have. I'm going to do a panning of all five of them at the end. These are from Anchor Bay. 20 years ago already. I can't believe how fast time is going. This is V. Just going to make this quick little video. I'm not going to drag it on too much. This is I. 
this was the second hardest one to find. I did have a D in my possession at one time, but I want to show you, I ended up getting rid of it because, and this is L for devil. These little, it has like a little push button here and you can open up the case. But then if you look at the top, the little hinges, it's like a CD jewel case and those little hinges break very, very easy. You have to be very careful with them. And I had a D that had the broke, a broken hinge and I got rid of it because I just didn't want that in my collection. But I do have a nice, like new mint condition now. And he, these are the five to complete the Anchor Bay Evil Dead Jewel Case Edition. Thanks to Chili Billy. I will leave his link down below. I encourage you guys to please go check him out. Tell him Toddy Walnut sent you. Show him some love and support by giving him thumbs up and commenting on his videos. I think he's a channel that deserves way more subs than what he gets. And I really do mean that. So thank you, Chili Billy. You're a great guy. I will be returning the favor. I have to figure out what to get you. Your Dawn of the Dead collection is incredible. I encourage you guys to check out his latest video. He picked up some rare steel books from Germany with the lenticular covers of some of the rare and out of print Dawn of the Dead stuff. So go check out his video on that. I think he uploaded that a day or two ago. So that is it guys. Thank you for watching. Please go check out Chili Billy and thank you again Chili Billy. You are a great guy. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.